Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be talking about the wonderful world and book series of the Magistrum. This is a collaboration between Cassandra Clare and Holly Black. Let's talk about it. Cassandra Clare has written many books but the one of the books that she is most famous for is the Shadowhunter series in particular and Holly Black has written tons of books and the most one that I reckon she's most known for notable for is either the Spiderwick Chronicles which is a big childhood book of mine or the Cruel Prince series which involves the Wicked King and the Queen of Nothing. Really hot books just putting it out there just spice. I don't know when this book series came out there'll be some like random facts popping up here but I obviously got the first book which is the Iron Trails way differently to these i prefer the way these look don't come from me but i'm not buying another book just to fit that so you're gonna have to deal but what is the magistrum all about the magistrum as i said is collaboration between holly black and Cassandra claire two of the best in my opinion young author novels especially when it comes to the magic world the magistrum follows a student by the name of callum hunt it talks about what it's like for him to try and get try and get into a magic school look he doesn't want to get into the magic school but things happen along the way where he may have to go to the magic school he tries to get in well he tries not to get in clearly he got in and it follows on his life so kind of like in high school how you have you know, you have five different levels, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We now have uh, six levels, but back when this was first written, there was only five levels of high school. It follows the same track. So you've got Iron Trails or the Iron Year, which is their first year. And then it goes into the Bronze Year, which is their second, Copper being third, Silver being fourth, and Gold being fifth. So it talks about all the different conundrums they get up to, all the drama and chaos that's ensued. And it, I'm holding this up to down. <laughs> and it talks about all of the magic and friendship and more that happens. There's a lot of twists and turns. And if you want a quick little read, these are amazing. I read two of these books on the camping trip, which you can look at up in the corner. But these are such a good book series. I love it so much. This is a great starter book for anyone who's trying to get into kind of the magic world but is still a bit unsure and doesn't want to get too overwhelmed with new information or random things sometimes when it comes to magic books or kind of fantasy books you can get too overwhelmed on all of the things being thrown at you so any person i would say between the ages of maybe like 9 10 all the way up even till now i'm 21 and i love these book series like these books here each probably have 200 to 250 pages, 250 pages. So that's what I mean by them being small. I would classify these as a small book or a small magic book. This one has a little bit more just because of the way it's written and the size, but this one has 300. So it's not that much bigger, but even if we're gonna talk about kind of the arts books, I'm gonna hold these up just cause they're a bit easier, but You've got the art style of the book, the color coordination, even the backs match the, you know, the front. It all of the kind of designs in the front talk a little bit about what happens in the book, which is a really cute Easter egg. And I like how they've matched kind of the book names to the years. So like the Golden Tower is matched to them being in Golden Year. You know, you've got silver masks because they're in their silver year and I think that's just a really cool concept there's nothing too mind-blowing in these books I think because I'm a person who as you can tell in the background I've read a decent amount of books when it comes to this particular type of universe which is the young adult magic you know fairy tales romances you know fantasy essentially books there's nothing too crazy out here, but it's just a fun little adventure. Now, what I what I really love about these books 
is that the plot is not hard to follow at all. It is a really simple plot, but it's simple enough. It's a simple enough plot to not get confusing, but it's got some good twists and turns that make you want to keep reading. Like I said, I went on a camping trip for three days. I took two of these books with me and I finished a book per day or technically both of them in a day. I spent like three hours reading one book, two reading another. They're just beautiful books. From the cover to the insides, how they're written, just the way they talk about everything is really beautiful. I'm going to read the blurb of the first book and you can decide from there if you want to read the series or not. Think you know magic, think again. Most people would do anything to get into the magic room and pass the iron trail. Not Callum Hunt. Cal, or Callum, has been told his whole life he should never trust a magician or a magistrum. And so he tries his best to do his worst, but fails at failing. He now he must enter the magistrum. It's a place that both sensational that is both sensational and sinister. And Cal realizes it has dark ties to his past and a twisted path to his future. The Iron Trail is just the beginning. Cal's biggest test is still to come. If that doesn't sound like a cool book to you, I don't know what does. Again, really simple, really cute, but it's just a lot of fun. So go to your local bookstore. I go to my bookstore called Dimmix or QBD and just pick up the first book. If you don't like the first one, then, you know, you don't have to read the rest. But if you do like the rest, then you've got another five more to go. Which I think is really awesome. So thank you all so much for watching and I'm going to be doing some more book reviews. So I hope you enjoy them. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything in particular you want me to talk about in my next book review. And good book ASMR. I'll see you guys in the next book review. Bye.